Hi, I'm George Murphy, and welcome to Making It Here. Tonight, we're in Pittsfield, Massachusetts at Lightning Technologies, and in a few moments, we're going inside to see how they make artificial lightning and what they make it for. But first, we're going to visit a place called the Chamberlain Group in Great Barrington, because they make certain things for medical students that you may not have been aware of. We always thought if the medical device companies used our products not only to demonstrate but also to do training, training. and I think this was a really critical aspect, mm -hmm. they first bought our products thinking that they would do demonstration demonstrations. With them. What they found was they were good enough to train procedures and to replace the use of animals, animal tissue, and cadavers. Um, there was really no other way to do it other than learning in the operating room. We both came to the Berkshires to work on feature right. films. Eric worked first on Judge, uh, Judge Dredd as model supervisor. The Stallone film. We worked on Eraser, which was a Schwarzenegger film, and Event Horizon. Mm -hmm. Eventually worked on The Matrix. Our silicone supplier recommended us to a guy who was in the business of making uh, surgical training models, and he approached us about being his sort of back of house. And we, we made medical models for him for a year and a half. And then when he got out of that business to go back to work for a medical device company, he said, uh, if you want to keep my 800 number, uh, keep that number if you want, and people know how to get in touch with you. And we starved for six months. And then the phone started ringing around Christmas time of the end of 1999. During 99, we had already started this business. We were... Uh, making, doing all kinds of projects, still thinking we would stay sort of in the field that we knew in models for television movies. So we actually did Lord and Taylor's Christmas Windows, some of them that year. We did uh, a project for MTV and miniatures. We were doing Hallmark commercials, anything that sort of came our way. You want to train to, uh, somebody to do um, run an IV. Models like that have existed for a long time. What haven't existed in this way are procedural models that you can train a whole operation from beginning to end, whether that's the takedown of a, a, a radial artery from the arm for so. bypass procedure or doing the bypass itself. This is a replaceable insert of the, of the arm, the muscular musculature, the fatty tissue, and this, is, uh, this fits into the arm here. Then this goes on to... Stand here, and and here. And then for, for this procedure, it's harvesting the the radial artery. So they make a, a small wristband incision about over here, and they cut down to to see where the vessel is. And it's about, I think, I believe they use about three centimeters on the cut. And then I open up here, and you can see the vessel. And then they use a, an instrument with a, with a camera and a fiber optic light source on the inside. And that fits into here, and you can... And you can be able to see that's the simulated radial artery. And now that instrument is worked down the wrist. And you can see the different branches. That's the main artery with its veins running with it. There's another branch over here underneath. And then with, a, with an instrument that... Uh, is a harmonic scalpel. They come in, and the idea here is to is to insert the instrument in, and then catch a grab a branch, open it. You can see the branch here, and then it's it's clamped down on. There's 